Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Are you taking a picture or video? Video. Okay, so this is me in my torso warmer. I'm very happy because it's very cold outside right now, and you would find that even if your extremities are cool and we're walking briskly, the fact that my torso is warm means that everything's okay. <laughs> and that's one of the metaphors that I wanted to use to talk about to talk about obstacles in our life. Now, when I was, I think it was 11th or 12th grade, I decided I wanted to finally be on the track team. I had thought about it for many years and I loved track. I loved track and field as a sport. Um, but I finally went out for the track team and I did it. It must have been junior year because I remember the seniors that were there. And this is, I'm a dancer. So after many years of dance and dancing, and interestingly enough, um, the place where my track and my track team practiced was next door to my um, performing arts school, but our school was like way away. We were in the middle of the city, so we didn't have our own track and field, so we had to go over there to DuPont Manual High School. And so um, the, the math teacher was also our coach, and the coach put me on hurdles. He's like, you know how to dance, you know how to jump, you're flexible, go for it. Now, when I first started doing it, I really went, I did a grand, I did grand jetés over the hurdles, literally, you know, I'm like, woo, flying over these hurdles. Now, while I was all cute and stuff, and it was all Swan Lake, um, it was not getting me to the finish line. In effect, the goal had shifted from dancing, where the goal was to be a swan, <laughs> and to literally float in the air, to glide through. Um, with speed, with, with speed, with force, but to be in the air. The opposite was the goal in track and field and the hurdles. The opposite was to um, be on the ground faster. Um, but that's not the end goal. The end goal is the finish line first. And so then you look at, when you look at hurdles in your life, you look at how do you, how do you get over them? Do you see the hurdle? Do you jump over it? You know, it's not an obstacle in your way. Do you jump over it? Do you, you know, you run up to it, you know, you jump over it. Some people step over it. <laughs> Some people climb over it. But jumping over it in track and field. But then you think, oh, when you reach the other side of the hurdle, you have to first land and then start running. But here's the secret. I'm going to let you in on it. In order to finish finish first, you have to see that hurdle is not even, not an obstacle, but a means for you to glide over because there is no landing. You can't sort of jump, land, and then run. You have to already be in motion. You have to already be in motion, okay, to run. So you have to see that hurdle is a means for you to spring forward. You have to see the hurdle as, as I say, a springboard for you um, and jumping in, into the water. No, not a necessarily apt metaphor, but the finish line where you have a clear goal in mind, which means that you have to be courageous enough to set a goal, to see it, to know what it is, to name it, even if it seems outlandish for you, but you have to be courageous enough to set it. And when you meet those hurdles, you have to look at them as opportunities. Opportunities for you to stay in motion, to not miss a beat.